It is January 26th, and we are going to do something different this time. Right here we have two non-English booster packs of M15. We have one Spanish. You can see by the SP right there. And we have one Chinese Simplified. As you can see by the CS right there. Now, if history is any indication, it'll be focused until I start opening up packs. <laughs> but we'll just deal. Alright, um, I don't know what I want to open up out of these. Um, so I'm not going to make any calls. Let's just see what we get. Focusing there. Um, this looks like when it comes in play, you gain three life. That seems mediocre as a five drop, so hopefully it's more than that. So five, five for six. Um, I'm guessing maybe you can assign its damage as if it wasn't blocked to a creature planeswalker. Um, and. I'm guessing you can't attack or block unless you control an island, maybe? I don't know. I'm just making a lot of stuff up. I'm trying to make out what the uh, Spanish does, and I don't... I'm never taking Spanish, so good luck. Um, I'm guessing that's destroy target wall. Um, destroy enchantment, gain four life. Again, making this stuff up. Um, threat damage to a uh, creature. Um... A green creature. Combat damage, yeah, probably some more. That card just sounds bad though. It's a weathered wayfarer thing, so it comes into play. I uh, get the top, what, four or five cards of your library and uh, reveal a land or a creature maybe in your hand or a land or enchantment. I get those cards mixed up. Looks like that gives it death touch and regenerates uh, instant spell. Uh, Spanish Elvish Mystic. That's pretty sweet. I've opened up uh, a couple foreign Elvish Mystics, so maybe I'll put, this, uh, put together a place out of those. That's pretty sweet. I like that. Elvish Mystic. Looks like an enchant creature that gives uh, the creature plus one, plus one. And... Um, Whenever, oh, it looks like maybe uh, whenever a creature an opponent controls dies, but a plus one plus one counter on it. But again, that's guessing. Um, this one of those um, ally creatures, uh, well, not an ally, but ally uh, color wheel kind of thing. So if you control an island, this gets plus one plus one, and then it has that uh, ability. Um, maybe it makes it unblockable, I'm guessing. I don't know. To be honest, I'm not sure. Um, this is a uh, black creature that gets plus one plus one if you control a mountain, I think. Um, and you can pay five to, I'm guessing, do two damage to a creature or player. Um, I think this is a 3 3 flyer when it comes into play. Um, either you lose through life or each player loses through life. And our rare, I think, is a big flyer. So I don't know if that's a decision or no. That's not a vision. I don't know what that is, though. Um, 4 4 flyer. Um, never just combat damage to a player. I'm guessing that's draw a card. Um, you can pay. I think you can play it without paying its cast cost if it costs 4 or less, maybe. Um, I don't know. How about someone who um, is less lazy than me? Look this up and tell me what it is. And we got a foil, sweet. Oh, I love my uh, foreign foils. And that is pretty sweet, even though I have no idea what it does. Guessing whenever a card enters the graveyard, uh, you gain life. But really, I have no idea. That's pretty sweet. I like my foreign foils. And a nice big artifact skull works for me. Well, that's our uh, pack. If you want to comment on it, I'd love to read it. Um, 
tell me what some of the cards actually say. Teach you some Spanish. That works. Um, but you know what? We're not done yet. Let's go on to our next pack. That was our Spanish M15. We have a Chinese Simplified pack to open. At the end of the video, I comment and let me know if you always want me to do just one pack per video or if you're interested in me doing um, more than one pack like this. Because I have, I have lots of um, packs I can still open. I can group it by set or by language. Tell me what you think makes the most sense. For now, I just grouped up a couple of uh, non-English M15 packs I have. And let's see what we get. All right, let's look at three, two for four with some blue ability. Maybe it makes it unblockable, I don't know. Lightning Strike, that's pretty sweet. I have some Chinese Theros um, Lightning Strikes. So now I've got a Chinese M15 Lightning Strike. To be honest, I'd prefer it if they were Lightning Bolts, but that's fine. Um, it says Siege Worm or whatever, it's 5-5 uh, five, five with Convoke. There's a 2-2, two, two. it looks like he has a Shade of Pump ability. For 3, he gets plus 2, plus 2. Um, it's like Gullen Coordinator or something, I don't know, maybe a 2-2. Two, two. Maybe he has Menace or something, maybe he has to attack every turn, I don't know. If I couldn't read Spanish, I definitely can't read, uh... Chinese Simplified or Mandarin or Cantonese or whatever this is. Just get some plus uh, one one for one, some sort of a uh, pump ability, maybe pay two and just get plus one plus one. I'm guessing this is a draw spell. Let's see, a one one. This is probably like a Timmy type do damage to player. This is a very underwhelming Sable, Golden Sable or whatever, two two or two one for two. This guy, I think, has first strike. I think he's a 3 1 first striker for two. Not bad. And this, this is removal that I think gives a creature minus three, minus three, and you lose three life. But actually, that's pretty sweet. When this set first came out, this was one of the cards I was most excited about as a potential replacement for Disfigure and Legacy. Um, but I've never actually removed my Disfigure for this card. Uh, some sort of staff. I'm guessing you gain a life whenever someone plays a white spell. Uh, this is a 3-3 three, three flyer for, I mean a 4-4 four, four flyer for 3. Um, I think maybe you have to have played a spell before you play this one. That's why it's undercosted. Now rare. A big green guy. No idea what this is. A 6 casting cost 7-2 with some other text. And a big square is one of the uh, symbols. Double square. All right, well, tell me what that is in the comments if you can. We got another mountain and a worthless promo card. I was so dying to get one of these. All right, well, let me know what your thoughts are. Um, if you like these videos at all, um, subscribe. See if you like it. If not, you can unsubscribe later. And uh, look back through. I've got some pretty sweet videos in, in the middle of a bunch of crap. Um, obviously I collect Grim Lava Mancer, so I'll keep on updating you on my Grim Lava Mancer global playset. Um, but comment, let me know what you think. Um, I've got a bunch of Journey and Nyx I could pair up in one video. Is, uh, is two packs a good amount, or just one, or more? No limit. Um, I, it looks like people watch my videos for about two minutes, um, on average. So, is that the right amount of time? Do you leave afterwards? Tell me what uh, amount of time you're willing to spend looking at these videos, and I'll make sure not to exceed that generally. Anyway, thanks for watching, y'all, and hey, who knows, maybe we'll get bored later and upload another video. But I appreciate you watching. Have a good one.